Have you met Danny before, Joe? Yeah. The last time I saw you, you actually had your cock out. <laughs> um, I went into the urinals of yeah. uh, the Malmaison Hotel in Manchester. Jesus. And you are so confident with your knob. I wasn't planning on telling this story. <laughs> Here we are. Um, and you were so confident, and you said, you went, lice it, like that, and I really enjoyed it's it. It's over here, we'll have a look at this now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, do you remember what it looks like? Have you... What, his knob? Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you think it looks I like? I don't know, I don't imagine it, but I just thought, maybe when you're boys and you're in the toilets, you have a little look. <clears throat> if it's someone that you recognise, you're like, oh, I saw Dave from down the road, his dick's slim. <laughs> You know, like you'd remember. Slim Dick Dave. Slim Dick Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Slim Dick Dave. <laughs> it's like a proper geezer, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, moving on with Mark Cock. What we, was the uh... <laughs> No, so, I've known you for a little while, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did have a little bone to pick with you, actually, because I have a Halloween party every year, and Mo was at my first ever one. He was like, oh, Mo, you know what? Yeah, Jonathan Ross invited me to his <laughs> I'm going to choose that instead. <laughs> and you went to Jonathan Ross's over mine. OK, wait. How was it? Wait, wait. He's please. changed, then he's changed. Please, please. He's okay. changed, yeah. he's changed. OK, so what happened, yeah? I went to it, and it was a vibe. Like, you know, like, <laughs> you ever been to a Halloween party, yeah? And, you know, like, it's so cool, but in your head, you're like, they got a photo booth. That's like two grand to hire. That's like, <laughs> like, you know, like it was like they had waiters just giving it. Hi there. Would you like? Would you like quiche? Quiche. quiche. <laughs> uh, Halloween party. So Danny, I got a bone to pick with you. Yeah, go yeah? on. So I was on the come up. I was struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And I thought, you know, I'm doing this geezer thing, couple of cans. So I sent you a message. Right. Yeah, yeah. Go on. 2017. I reached out. I said, look, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but you being the original geezer, it would be great to get you in a short video one day. Would you get fuck all back? No, you, what? <laughs> it's not you like, like it's not your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, he didn't reply to you? No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a liberty. It's, it's a liberty, you know. Should have replied to that. It's all right, it's okay, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. You're so funny, because you're looking at it like, fuck, I can't believe I've done it, man. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter. Skip that. Skip that. Yeah. So, um, how's things going in EastEnders for you? This week, it all starts with me storyline with uh, anxiety attacks. And that's what's going on with, with Mick, right? Yeah, I'm trying to do it in a sort of cold Tony Soprano fucking way, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Trying to blag it and don't quite know what's going on. All flutters and that. Yeah. Fainting. Like, over fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... So, how many, how many duff scenes have you had? Because that's mean? the thing. Oh, that. The duff, <laughs> the duff uh... scenes. Uh... <laughs> Why don't you reply to my tweet, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've had a few, but it, it, the thing is, you can only pull the same fucking face, can't you? Yeah. It's like, what's going to happen? Yeah. Cos it's a cliffhanger, isn't it? No, it's a cliffhanger. So if you get four on the spin, you get exposed, don't you? OK. For one range. Mm. Yeah. But I love the cliffhangers. Sometimes you can just say anything. Who oh, took the biscuits out of the biscuit tin? <laughs> It's true, man. I love it, man. It's Shall true. I say something? Yeah, go on, Joe. Good Give it a go. This is this is amazing. Mum. <laughs> Danny Dyer, mm -hmm. must say you've had an amazing run in the West End. You was in a Harold Pinter play. Um, he's also yeah. one of your friends as well. So, so how was that experience? Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible, man. It was um, uh, a real moment for me. He was a big part of my life many years ago, Harold Pinter, and. Um, you know, he was in my life for two years, and, he, and, and when he died, uh, I went off the fucking rails, to be straight with you. You know what I mean? I didn't quite understand the role he played in my life. So it was great to go back and do a play. OK. Um, and, uh, you know, a powerful bit of work with Martin Freeman, who's, you know, a great actor. So there's like a little two-hander. And it was mad to come out of a soap and be able to go into the West End and do something like that, you know? Hey, I shit me pants for five shows, by the way. <laughs> First five shows, I was banging trouble. How did you find the West End? Because it was a massive hit as well, yeah, right? no, I love it, I love it. It's, it you know, but it's, a, it's a different discipline to soap. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, and it's like two actors on a stage. And, uh, yeah, I shit me pants. I love my hands up. You know, I pulled it out of the bag. I got away with it, yeah. And Maybe... your daughter's, you know, your daughter's doing yeah. well as well, yeah. you know, cos she was in Love Island last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah. she was one of the winners Yeah, well. she's great, my Danny. I'm so proud of her. She's, like, she's cracking right on now. Mm -hmm. Did you watch Love Island this year? I tried to get into it. Ain't the same without your kid, innit? OK. You know, like... <laughs> I've always said that. Yeah, you, you, you're not as invested, you know, so... I watched a few of them and I've just found them all well, slightly fucking irritating to be honest. Yeah. But it's still, I think it's good telly. Speaking of relationships, 
You're in a bit of a high profile relationship. That's all right. Well, yeah. Yeah. I was you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Am I tracking? <laughs> Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> Wait for the new one. <laughs> yeah, I know. But in a high-profile relationship with Stormzy, how do you find this? Because you're both actively working. You know, sometimes people comparing your careers and... Um, I don't know, I think because we're different. Like, I'm a presenter, host person, he does music. Like, mm -hmm. I think maybe if we were both musicians, it might be like, ooh, comparing, but it's separate. So mm -hmm. it kind of goes hand in hand. Like, yeah. I understand his stuff, he understands mine. Mm -hmm. You entwine. And also, it's just very normal. I think it's only, like, super high-profile and intense if you, like, go out and do stuff publicly loads. Like, if you're just chilling at your friend's house and at your house, it doesn't feel, like, that famous-y. And... Yeah, I think you're good at keeping it low. Yeah, we just do mm. normal shit. Do you know what I read about you? You're both very young, you know? Yeah. And, there's, and you know what it's like now on social media? There's a lot of chatty patties that will, you know, make, like, threads and dissertations online and stuff. <laughs> but what I really read about you is that you, you just give it to them. You don't... Do you know what I mean? Like, and it, no, I really you know read what? that, man. At the beginning, well, obviously, when we first met, neither of us were, like... People didn't want to write about us or do stories or anything. Mm -hmm. It wasn't famously. And then eventually, you know, you hold your tongue for a while, you see little comments left, right and centre. And then I think now it's like nearly five years you've been together. You see comments, you're a bit like, oh, fuck off. Mm. So now I've been a bit more like, when there's something going on. But for ages, I was like, no, I'm a lady. I don't respond to trolls. Yeah. But yeah, now I've started to be a bit more like... Because mm. here's a tweet here. <laughs> you said, as a woman, we are taught to be respectful, quiet and humble and not to brag and all this stuff. Humble is great, but sometimes I'll see a comment like Gold Digger and all I want to scream is, I'll buy your mum's house now, you little twat. I have my own gold. <laughs> oh, big ups, man. Oh, let them know, man. Come on. Stop it. Stop Just it. do it.